you're looking for a plugin for WordPress to do pop-ups, I would highly recommend Pop-Up Maker. I've been using it only for a couple of days now. Uh, I was after something to do pop-ups at pretty short notice, and this was the first thing I chose. I installed it, and I guess the two main pros that I can sell it to you. I mean, I, by the way, I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. Nothing to do with me. I'm just doing this because I appreciate well-written plugins, really, is that it works and uh, it's reliable so that uh, it's, I haven't noticed it being buggy. It hasn't broken anything else in my on my site. It's just kind of worked as expected. And secondly, it's fairly nicely integrated into WordPress. Some plugins, you put them in and they just look like they've been shoehorned in and they're just a right old mess. Whereas this, it uses all the standard features of your WordPress theme and your kind of the way you build your pages, but just, I don't know, it's just, it just works pretty well. So anyway, I'll show you what I actually am using it for. So if I just go to Edge here, because I haven't got, I don't use Edge, so I haven't got the cookies on Edge, and you should be able to see, I'm going to go to my sites now, and there we go, from the bottom right-hand side, it's just a fairly subtle, well, subtle, it's quite big, but it's, um, a gen, you know, gently reveals itself. It's not like pop-ups used to be, you know, where they just like splattered themselves all over the screen. There's a nice clear exit button here. You can close it. There's no problem. It's not going to pest you with anything else. If I close this now, I can click on this and it'll take you through to uh, my Luminar affiliate link, or you can just close it and carry on with whatever you were doing. So let's take a look at how that's set up in WordPress itself. This is the page. They've got some Black Friday deals on at the moment, which is quite tempting actually, because they've got some good extensions. Oh yeah, just before I start looking at that, the basic plugin functionality is good. The free, i.e. the free side of it, you can get a lot done. They do, however, offer a lot of extensions here. And these are the things you're gonna want, you're going to need if you're using sort of this on a business website you know there's probably stuff you're definitely going to need like sc scheduling and potentially video and analytics around your pop-ups and uh, scroll scroll triggered pop-ups age verification mailchimp integration force interact all these kind of slightly more advanced features they know that they're going to get you with those and then you have to pay for those extensions but the free pop-up maker can do a lot when you install it, you down the left-hand side here, you have the actual pop-up maker menu, and that has all your kind of settings and uh, themes. And at the moment, I've got two on here. I've got one for Photo Lima, and I've got one running for Luminar. The Photo Lima one is not active at the moment. It's in draft, and the Luminar one is currently running. So I'll go into that one. That was the one you just saw. And you can see that this is simply a like a post, really, and I'm even using my page builder within the theme that I use, and it's just an image. So this is really just an element on my page which contains an image, and then the pop-up stuff is all down here and all set around that image. So you're essentially just creating a post which is gonna be shown in that, in that plugin. And that's what I mean by how well it's integrated. It doesn't require kind of some specific extension to add this image or anything. It's just how you would normally add an image to a page. So as long as you can do that, you can create it in your, in your pop-up. Firstly, we got the triggers section here. And that allows you to, well, in my case, I've put a little time delay on when someone opens the page. So the plug, so the pop-up doesn't come up immediately. It comes up after about three, well, exactly three seconds. And I've also got cookies enabled on it too. And the cookie gets created when someone clicks that exit button. So if they close the plugin down, then it won't show up for them again. So if I go went in, back into Edge now, it wouldn't show me the plugin again, and you've got an expiry on that. I've set, set that pretty short because I'm going to be changing and playing with the plugins over the next few days, so I do want to be able to re-show them. Targeting. Now, this is absolutely fantastic. The conditions under which your pop-up will show, uh, where it's going to show, really, because you may not want it on all pages. The way I've got it set here with no no targeting on at all means it will show on all pages. But if I click on here, there is a massive amount of stuff you can select from to 
add in conditions and make this as specific as you like. So if I wanted to go to posts with um, tag, so I can do a very specific thing, posts with tag, and I might only want to include this pop-up on posts that where I've put the photo lima tag, photo lima three. And there we go. That's all you need to do. And if I want to only post it on everything without the photo lima tag, I can just click on this here and it essentially does a um, and not really rather than an and uh, condition. So you can set this up and you can rack, rack up as many of these as you want. You can just say and and this and that. The targeting on this is so user friendly and so logical. It just work, works wonderfully well. I was well impressed with this when I started using this and I looked at it and thought, this is all part of the free plugin. It's like really good. And the options down here to disable it on uh, mobile devices if you want. I don't know why I've done it on this one because it does look okay on a mobile device. It works just fine, but um, but the, re the option is there nonetheless. When we go down to the display section, now this is where you set how it all kind of is going to look. I've created a theme. And if I just go into another window now and show you where you edit that theme, you can change all aspects of it. And you've got the theme on the right-hand side here. You have to, will have to do some playing around here because this on the right-hand side doesn't really represent my what I'm showing because I'm just showing an image. I'm doing my own artwork, or in fact, the artwork was provided to me by, uh, by Skylum for this particular promotion. But, you know, this kind of just just gives you an idea as if you are using text in your pop-up. But I'm not. I'm using artwork, an image. So I've got an image with a white border around it and this close button here. And that's it. And if you click on any as any bits of this preview here, it'll move you to the relevant part of the page. And this is all standard stuff. I'm not going to go into this in all massive detail, but you know, you've got your borders there. You've got my thickness at four pixels, the color of the border, uh, my my overlay opacity uh, the title settings the fonts all all this sort of stuff you can change all of that and you can add whatever themes you want there are more advanced theme options in an extension that you can add on but this for me is perfectly suitable so let's just go back to that page again where we've got size where you can adjust the size the responsive size of the plugin so if you want it to just be you know, if someone if someone expands their screen and you want it still to sit as a small thing in the corner, you can make it smaller. And you can have max and min width, standard stuff. Animation, so I've got it fade and slide. You saw it fade and, and slide in from the bottom right-hand side of the screen because the animation origin is bottom right. And then the speed I've put on that, one and a half seconds, fantastic. Position, you can shift it so it could be in the middle of the screen, or you could just move it over a bit or just have it sit sat just off the corner. I wanted it to be tucked nicely and as unobtrusive as possible in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Oh, and fixed positioning here means that it, uh, when I scroll, it's, it carries on and sits there in the corner rather than scrolling with the rest of the page, which again, looks really nice and can, be, it can really kind of grab people's attention then they just kind of close it or click through, hopefully. And yeah, some other advanced options here on disabling repositioning, making it stackable, and uh, disabling the background overlay. And then you've got the close button, and this has the text that goes on that close button, and how much delay there is between when the pop-up shows and when someone can actually click the close button, i.e. when that button appears. I'll be totally honest, don't know what that does. Haven't looked at these yet. And then I've bought the scheduling extension as well. I've added that into mine. So this isn't standard on the free one, but I'll just show you the scheduling extension anyway, because I think the scheduling side of things is probably one of the most useful for people. Choose what type of schedule to add. You've got start date, end date, chosen dates, date range, office hours. So you can really do anything you want with this. You can say, I just want it to start on this date so you can publish it, but then set a start date and it won't be live until this it hits this date. But you can go into, with office hours, you can go into some sort of fairly detailed stuff here because you can add a schedule that say, does it on a Monday between this time and this time, and then add another schedule that does it on a Tuesday between a different time, you know? So you're not just stuck to one schedule, you can add another schedule. So loads of stuff you can do there with with this pop-up amazing amount of functionality for a free pop-up so as i say the scheduling is um, an add-on extension 
And so far, so good. It's worked really well. So if you are after one, then take a look at this because it's definitely worth it. So I think it's probably going to be the first one you come across anyway, but on my side anyway, I would highly recommend it. Hope you like this uh, little walk through the software there if you are looking for something like this. Let me know if you've got anything, any other bit of, bit of software that you use to do this job that's better or you really like for some other reason because I'd like to know about it. It's this, you know, I've never looked at pop-up stuff before because I really don't like them particularly. I just, you know, I do need them sometimes as part of promotions and offers and uh, generating traffic and stuff. It's just part of the internet, isn't it? But um, yeah, they are incredibly useful, much, much better than they were back in 2002 or something when they were horrible things. But uh, this piece of software does a great job of uh, making them clean, tidy, un not unobtrusive because they're meant to be obtrusive, but not annoying, I think, is probably, <laughs> probably the best way of putting it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.